going to talk about the file operations portion of the options traders template. So when you first pull up the file, you'll come to the end user license agreement. You'll scroll down to the bottom, agree to the terms, click OK, and you're taken to the file operations. What you want to do is save the file right now as the ticker symbol for the underline that you're trading. For instance, Apple or it can be in lowercase as well and click file or save new file. Preferably you're going to want to put this in to a separate trading subdirectory for that year and you're going to do that for tax reporting purposes and you need to watch the tax reporting video to understand exactly why you need to do it this way but I would recommend that you designate a trading subdirectory for every year. I'm going to go ahead and save it as Apple and if you wanted to append this for instance Apple split a number of years ago let's say you had pre-split and post-split Apple trades you could make this one 002. Save the file as Apple 002. Here's the complete file operations tab. If for some reason that you, you, you find yourself trading and you have not saved the file as your underline on the trading tab you can click on the file ops command button and it'll take you back to file operations menu. Now the show trade backup, let's click on that, gives you the option to take a look at your trade backup, the clear all backup or display both. I'm going to cancel out of this we'll go to your trade. Now if you want to for some reason clear all of your trades you would click this and it would make a backup of all of your trades before it clears everything and here is where you would back up the file so let's take a look at that show trade backup we'll just say three this is what the trade backup looks like and this is the clear all backup you'll notice that those will disappear after you leave that tab. Let's go to the archive. A lot of times if you're trading and you are populating some of these tabs, not so much for options pricing or strategies or earnings movement, but for the forecast tab, we'll go over there real quick. If you download all of the daily open high low close for a particular underline, this could be well over 10,000 lines. That makes the file pretty large. So when you're finished, you might want to delete some of these tabs. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you what this looks like. We will go ahead and delete these three. It'll warn you. Yes. And sometimes I get this because I don't have as much memory. Just clear it. Now, we'll go ahead and clear a couple more. Forecast, relative. Now, you'll note on the download, it'll give you a warning. The download tab is used with the forecast and relative. So if you delete the download tab, you will no longer be able to use the forecast and the relative tabs. So we'll say OK. Selenius, delete those. You'll notice that the once they're deleted, they're grayed out, and it will tell you that the option pricing no longer exists or whatever tab that you have deleted. And you'll see the remaining tabs down here. I don't let you delete the trading tab, the tax lots, your tax exports, or the option tax rules. 
I hope this is helpful in understanding the file operations of the Options Traders template. I thank you for watching, and as always, good trading. Bye.